as I mentioned in a video a few days ago, I got a bunch of these that were donated to me from this fellow that I know. Um, curiosity got the best of me. And I ended up digging into them. And I got some really good things in there to eat. So what I got here is a German gas mask tin. I'm going to take this thing and fill it up with some of the remainders. And I'm going to go place it in the forest and use it as a training aid. Much like I did with the uh, drill back in October with Bjorn. Italian breadsticks. Going in. Turkey nuggets. It's going in. Filet chicken breast with herbs. It's going in. Garlic herb chicken breast. It's going in. Some combos. That's going in. Some hot sauce. That's going in. Some pork and barbecue. That's going in. Cheese. That's going in. Strawberry banana powder mix. Great breakfast. It's going in. And this is caffeinated chocolate pudding. This stuff is the bomb divvy. I had one of these the other day and it was absolutely delicious. And when I got done eating it, yeah, I was bouncing off the walls for a while. It's got seriously high ca caffeine content going in. Spoon going in. Military energy gum. I don't know. It'll go in. And I think that's about it that I feel like putting in. I'll throw some spoons in there. And another thing these another thing these MREs come with, these first strike, is they come with their own trash bag. But um yeah, I thought that was pretty convenient, although Although to keep the, the mess from getting outside the bag and inside your rucksack, I don't really think it will block the scent of a bear's nose picking up on trash inside your rucksack. So, But we'll throw these in there anyway, and I'll take them with me. So, I'm off to Rhodesia. Falling too fast to prepare for this Tripping in the world could be dangerous Everybody circling as vultures Negative, nepotist Everybody waiting for the fall of man Everybody praying for the end of times Everybody hoping they could be the one I was born to run, I was born for this Whip, whip, run me like a racehorse Pull me like a ripcord Break me down and build me up I wanna be the slip, slip Word upon your lip, lip Rather that you rip, rip Break me down and build me up Whatever it takes
Good boy, Take a break, do that. It's gonna be a long day and it's blazing fucking hot. It's amazing that I can see his breath, but it's blazing fucking hot out here. Dry. Literally the end of the road. Well, now I know. Yeah, I smell it too. I thought it was your ass, but it ain't. His nose knows. It's never wrong. You done, bud? You all done? You gotta get that water. Go and get it. Go and get it. And we're gonna head back out to the wide open blaze inferno. Because I'm pretty sure this trail leads to some place I really don't want to go. Private property. There's a lot of horse crap on it. And I don't feel like bumping anybody. It's not worth it. So we're going to go back out to the Blaze Inferno and cut right and see what we can find. Well, no matter how bad my day or your day went, it wasn't as bad as this fellow's. It was like his leg got pulled out and took all his guts with it. And it's a crappy way to go. So yesterday was a real scorcher, mostly for Dane, really not for me. I was hot and I was uncomfortable, but the poor guy drank most of my water by noon. And the only other water source was a pretty good hike away. And it wasn't worth walking all the way over there just to get that. It cost more time. It was easier just to cut our losses and go. The survival pod did not get planted, and that's fine. But the route that I suspected was there was there, but it didn't go all the way across the valley like I hoped. It was actually a winter trail and that trail should have been either full of mud where I couldn't even walk on it or underwater. Uh, Alaska's getting drier and hotter every year. And I look back on some of the pictures from that area from 2014 to now and the lakes have shrank like probably 75%. I can't even imagine how hot he was in this fucking arctic meat suit yesterday. 
At one point he was uh, panting. When he was panting, I thought he was going to have a seizure. Poor fellow. And last night he wouldn't get out of bed, so me and my wife had to sleep in the bed with him. It's a 100 pound dog, because he didn't want to get out from in front of the fan. Who could blame him? And somebody asked me the other day, what kind of a tactical belt do I use for my my knife? I don't, I don't really consider it a tactical belt. It's just a it's just an East German nylon web belt that I dyed black or gray, darken it, and then I painted the buckle, and it works just fine. It's pretty rigid and sturdy, so I don't get a lot of sag and flop. You can get these anywhere for like ten bucks. The buckle is not very traditional, but it stays. I've never had it come undone. There's no problems with it whatsoever. And it adjusts out just by pushing it in or out to get the desired length. Like so. So I'm still on the track of one rig to rule them all. And I'm always looking to improve. The finish chest pouch that I made, I really wasn't satisfied with it. I didn't like the zipper and I didn't like the noise that the zipper made, so I took this East German grenade pouch, which has three sections in it. I removed one section and I cut the top so now it can open up independently. And that section compass. And that section blockers. And I can open and close it with one hand. So I'm just cutting this thing and sewing it. It was super simple. My machine loves Eastern material. And the best thing about Eastern material is that you can just cut it and apply it. You don't have to hem it. You don't have to worry about the ends fraying because it's kind of like a laminated, laminated fabric. And it's held up in pretty much any weather here in Alaska, including the extreme cold. So that's always a plus. I did reinforce it right there. And on the other side is actually where I put the hanger. And what's more is this little convenient pouch with two little cells. has just enough room to put a map. So that works. And I actually did the same thing to this pouch. That way I can open one side. Right now i got bear spray in it and one AK mag. And it's been modified to attach to a mole panel, which I'm not going to go over today. My weapons yesterday were my my AK and a P38. And I got a question for all you gun nuts out there. Can you put Buffalo bore 9mm ammo in a P38? It says you can. I imagine you could. But uh, I'm not a gun nut. I'm not a gun expert. Maybe one of you guys out there knows. Yesterday I just had regular ball ammo in there. And it was okay because I had the 762 by 39 But I would like to have the uh, 9mm Buffalo bore ammo in there just in case. And yesterday I actually wore the green side of my Partisan Medusa suit. It's the first time I've ever used the green side. The green side in this thing's a little bit too minty, but whatever. I was just going to do a specific task. I wasn't trying to be a creepy bastard. I like it for the pockets. Usually the pockets from this thing went out. Camo is secondary because it's put on with a, an ink jet printer. It's not really dye, it's ink. And it doesn't stick to it very well. The brown side has a lot of white marks in it from where the print is actually wore off from use and soon the green side will too. And the heavyweight KSK flecked iron trousers went with me yesterday. I really love these trousers. They're, they're the shit. I can recommend them. I really can. So it all is what it is. Win or lose. Victory or failure. You gotta keep going back. Not every time you go out in the wilds or out in wherever you're at it's gonna be successful. You might go out five times. One time might be something to remember. The rest of this shit shows. That's just the way it goes. I've had my fair, fair, fair share of failures, but I keep on going because you can't quit. With that being said, I guess I'm going to either put this out at Wolverine Flats or maybe up in the mountains. I'm not sure yet. I have to get started on the spiderweb plan soon. Time's uh, ticking away. I've got about five or six more months before the snow gets here, so I have plenty of time, but that's still not a lot of time. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the shit show. I wish I had more to share, but that's life. All the days were not a thing, went right. All the pain, all the sleepless nights. I'm not blessed because it all went right. I'm a warrior. I'm blessed because I can't fight. But failure trying to take my mind. I wouldn't let failure take my life. I'm not blessed because it all went right. I'll never give up. I'm blessed because I can't fight. Broken in pain. Lonely, battered, and bruised, always the 
same day Nothing new or unusual, seems like nothing changed It's always the same rules, no matter how bad it gets I refuse to lose, no matter how bad it gets I'll keep on moving, no matter how bad it gets I can still choose to keep fighting up To keep trying up, to keep grinding up Keep rising up, I just got to that point Where enough was enough, I can't keep complaining Sitting and waiting for luck, I have to stop asking why me Start looking inside, push through the pain and tell my story on the other side Had to renew my mind and start fighting, I won't lie, it was frightening, but I survived That choice got me to where I am today, if you think things always run my way Listen close to what I guess